Good morning, everyone. Uh, just before we get into today's uh, reflection, just to re uh, remind ourselves that uh, yesterday, uh, the 29th of September, would have been the Feast of the Archangels. Um, and they, they had a pretty significant part to play um, in, in the Bible. Um, so it's worth looking up on, on the Archangels uh, and just to remember that their feast would have been yesterday. Today is the Feast of St. Jerome. Now, uh, you hear that name, well, that's familiar, but I'm quite sure. Well, he, he was a scholar, um, and at a young age, he was uh, unwillingly ordained as a priest <laughs> because he was seen to be uh, just of the right caliber. Um, he eventually went and settled in Bethlehem, and he worked uh, primarily in that area for the rest of his life, and was passionate about literature, translating the Bible into Latin. Uh, we might also say, why translate into Latin? What's wrong with English? Well, it wasn't in English, you see. Um, it, was, uh, it, it was in all sorts of other languages, and so he pulled the whole thing together into Latin, which then subsequently was used as a source. Um, for the modern Bibles that we see. He also wrote commentaries on, on Holy Scripture um, and basically in words that people can understand. And, and if we've had a look at some of our uh, Bibles, we'll understand that there are, there are words of ambiguity in the Bible, um, which we would only get a real clear understanding from if we, if we get into it uh, and, and see that, for example, the word love, I mean, the, the origins of the word love, there are five different words and uh, other words as well, even in terms of um, the, the disciples saying, oh, that, you know, your, your mother and your brothers and sisters are outside. And you say, well, who are my brothers and sisters? Well, once again, the translation creates the problem. Uh, if we can look back into that, we can get a better understanding of what, what it's all about. But it does raise the question. Um, often when we have discussion groups and uh, uh, confirmation, whatever catechism we say to the kids or to the, 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 the people who are participating, um, bring your Bibles along. Um, they arrive with either not a Bible or they uh, have a Bible which uh, doesn't have the Catholic uh, versions in it. Not that that's necessarily critical. The translation might be correct of the words that are then there, but we do understand that um, in, in history there were times that the canon of the Bible, in other words, the books that were in the Bible, were changed because um, there was disagreement whether they should be in or not, and they were taken out. So the original Bible does have all the Catholic books in it. So let's just make sure we've got a Bible in our homes, and uh, don't be scared to look at it. It's, it's well worth a read. We will see you again. Keep yourself safe. God bless. Bye-bye.